What's up guys, we're Orlin here. This week on 3D Nerd Stop, we're gonna try and print out the platform jack. All right guys, here you go, this is the model. This is our platform jack and this one is with some modifications. Um, if we click on this image here, and we can actually go full screen with this, you can see it a little better. As you can see, some of the modifications they made, um, looks like they added some gaps in here. Um, they made this a thicker piece here, then it was thinner here, and they made this, added the little ramp sidewalls here and here, made this a little thicker up here. Um, they also added some supports here. Um, looks like they centered the holes on the mechanisms here and here. So those are some of the modifications this guy did to the model. Uh, this model looks great. Uh, I'm really looking forward to printing it. So we would go ahead and download this. And of course you'll find the link to this model in the description below. And then we would load it up here in um, Cura. Now I am still using Cura 1. I haven't switched over to Cura 2 yet. I've had too many bugs with prints with Cura 2, so I have not switched over to Cura 2 yet. Um, I still do try it every once in a while, but normally I print with Cura 1. So here's the model. So the first thing we'll do to it is we'll have to rotate it because we don't want to print it this orientation. That's just way too much support material. And the idea is you're supposed to be able to print this model with no support material and it just print. Um, I did watch the little video of him printing it, the guy that made, did the modifications, and he printed it in this orientation. So that's how we're going to print it. There we go. Okay. And now he said he did it with, I believe he said a 10% infill. I'm going to up mine. I want to do it at a 50. I just feel that... With like a 10% infill, there, it's not going to be really structurally sound. Uh, so I'll take my chances with 50. Um, we're not going to need any support material. So we'll do a rundown and go through our normal settings. Uh, we're going to do this with a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. We're going to do it with a sh shell thickness of 1.2. Top and bottom thickness of 1.2 with a fill density of 50%. We are going to do our print speed at 60 with our uh, printing temperature at 210 and our bed temperature at 50. Those are the normal settings that I usually use. So what we do now, guys, is we'd save this off to our SD card and then we take it over to the printer and get it printing. So that's what we'll do. We'll save it off and get the printer heated up and get her printing.
guys, here it is, straight off the printer. So we, we take a look at it real quick. We can see we had a little bit of an error here. Y'all can see that right here. Which runs all the way down this side. And when you look at the bottom of it, you can kind of see how it's kind of shifted over here a little bit right here. Basically what happened is it printed so far up and then this released from the build plate and it popped over a little bit because it warped. Uh, luckily it didn't go too bad. The print looks like it's still uh, usable. It looks like it'll still work because it only looks like it was just this outside piece that did that. So we should still be able to use this and make it work. Um, other than that, it seems to have printed really nice. Uh, everything looks good. Details nice. Let's see if we get that to focus. So the detail looks good on it. And this is all one print. So let's see if we can't break it free and get it to work. Um, I've watched a couple. I know a couple other people have made this, so I've watched a couple other videos on it, and almost everybody uses something to help get it going. Oh, and it broke. Well, guys, that happens sometimes. That's not very good. Hmm. Let's see if we can get it open and take a look at it anyways, even though it broke. Well, there we go. Got that. And we got that. So that broke open. Nicely. Hmm. I might be able to drop some glue down in there and get that to spin. So I'll have to try that and see if I can do that. Alright guys, well, let me pause this real quick and I'll see if I can't glue it in place and get it to work. Alright guys. As we know, we broke the knob off and I couldn't get it to glue back on, which is okay. Um, this print came out nice. I mean, it worked in a way. As you can see, we had a failure. It happens with 3D printing. Uh, so what I did is I managed to get a hold of the bolt. As you can see, it spins. It goes in and out. But without the knob being attached to the other end, it doesn't make the machine work. So we just get this out of the way. Okay. And then as we can see, the rest of the scissor part of it works just fine. So it all printed out nice. It all printed out to the point it worked. It was really difficult to get all the pieces to start moving. You really had to kind of push your limits of what you thought the stress could take to get it to move. Um, I'm betting if I went through and did some temperature changes and maybe printed it just a little cooler, I might have had it a little hot for the temperature the room was the day I printed this because it was really hot in there the day I printed this. Um, I bet if I maybe turn the temperature down a little bit to take care of the ambient temperature in the room that I was in that it would have printed a little better and would be a little smoother. Uh, as you can see, like when I open this up, this back here, this bolt should stay straight, and this is really hard to move. This doesn't want to move real well. The more you play with it, the better it gets. It doesn't exactly break through free the way you expect it to, but it does work. Um, so all in all, it works. All in all, it's a really cool print. I wish it hadn't broken there. I'm still going to mess with that and try and figure out a way to maybe get it back in place so the screw will work again on it. Um, I'll just figure out some way to fix it, basically is what I'm saying. Uh, but all in all, it works fine. I mean, it's pretty cool looking. It would have been more fun to have it with I could screw it up and down and set the height. I mean, technically you still probably could just take this feed the bolt in as far as you wanted it. Yep, nope, you need something to grab a hold of it this way. But, so, keeps you from opening it up too high, but, yeah, all in all it works. It didn't come out to be the best print because of a small error in I just put a little too much pressure there. I guess I should have spent some more time trying to free it up other places. But that's okay. It happens. It's just a print. It was an experiment. I wanted to see how well the Robo would do printing 
something that has moving parts where everything's touching and you know it's all one print and creates a mechanical device and all in all it worked well um, like I say the problem I had here with this breaking off is probably my fault I probably put a little too much pressure on it trying to get it to start the turning um, plus I probably could have printed this model because there's really not a whole lot of plastic in the model all in all there's not probably could have printed it at a hundred percent and made it stronger uh, we only did it at fifty percent probably could have printed it at a hundred percent gotten it a little bit stronger which would have all in all made it a little bit tougher and maybe if I'd played around with the temperatures knowing that room was a little hot yesterday when I printed this uh, I could have gotten it to print a little nicer because the room wouldn't have been so hot I might also need to add some more cooling to my Robo. I've been thinking about adding a second cooling fan to it. So maybe we'll do that and do that here pretty soon. But all in all, guys, there you go. You can see it printed. You can see that it does work. Um, I just happened to break the screw. If I hadn't, it would work fine. I'll probably find some way to glue that back on there in a little bit. I'll mess with it until I figure it out. I'm pretty good at that. Or maybe I'll find a way to put a screw through it or something make it work on its own all right guys so there you go there's this week's print yeah it didn't come out perfect but it does work so this is a good model thank y'all for watching if you like what you saw please like and subscribe please leave a comment down below i'd love to hear from you until next time have a great day